we're going to read the story of the gum chewing rattler. A rattler is a rattlesnake. A snake. Whoa. Whoa. What is that right there? Cropped right into my glasses. Look at that. That's a little snake. And we're doing a story about a snake, about a rattlesnake who chews some bubble gum. And afterwards, you're going to make a snake like this. These materials are in your package for this week. You're going to make a little beaded snake. Let's read the story about the gum chewing rattler. Does a snake really chew bubble gum? No. This is a pretend story. Rattlesnakes are real, but the story about this snake is pretend. It's called the gum chewing rattler. Rattler is a rattlesnake. We do have rattlesnakes around us, around here, not by a school or probably by your homes, but out by the river to go for a walk, maybe. This, this man's telling this story. He says, when I was a kid growing up in Arizona, I used to love to chew bubble gum. How many of you have chewed bubble gum before? Now, I have. I love bubble gum, and I love blowing bubbles. Oh, my gosh. Look at this kid. Look how many pieces he has in his mouth. Let's see. One, two, three, four. At least four. I don't know if that's one. Oh, wait. He says one, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess that is one. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Six pieces of gum in his mouth. I always had a big, juicy wad of bubble gum in my mouth. I'm not talking about one piece of bubble gum. I would put two or three pieces of gum in my mouth at once. I might even put six or seven pieces of bubble gum in my mouth at the same time. I would be chomping away on bubble gum all the time, even when I was in school. Uh-oh. Are you allowed to chew gum at school? No. Nope. My teacher would see that water in my mouth and snap, get rid of that gum. I had to take the gum out of my mouth, wrap it in some paper, and throw it in the wastebasket. I didn't really care. I always kept another package of bubble gum right in my shirt pocket. I hope you can see that. Look at, see those bumps in his shirt pocket? What's he got in there? That's right, more bubble gum. And look at... See right there? That's where he's got all those six or seven pieces of gum stuffed in his mouth. My mom was the one who would really get mad at me, though, because I would forget to take the gum out of my shirt pocket. I'd throw my shirt in the wash with all the other dirty clothes. There he's throwing his shirt in. And what's in the pocket? Yep, I can see those pieces. Should you put bubble gum in the wash? No. Oh, now I grew up a very long time ago and my mom had one of those old fashioned ringer washing machines. Her washing machine didn't spin. She had to put each piece of, piece of clothing through the ringer and the rollers would squeeze to get the clothes dried. She had to run it through this ringer and it would squeeze the water out of the clothes. She would put my shirt through the ringer and the rollers would squish the bubble gum right into the cloth and make a big gunky stain all around the pocket. Oh, is that mom happy about that? Not at all. That's a mess. She says, oh my goodness, more bubble gum. Hey, look, she's wearing an apron. My mom would say, look at this. You've ruined another shirt. But then one day something happened that changed her mind and she never got mad at me again for carrying gum in my shirt pocket. Let's see what happened. What do you think happened? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, oh. There's that rattlesnake. That day I was walking around out in the desert kind of daydreaming, chomping on my bubble gum and not paying attention to where I was going. And I stepped right on a rattlesnake's tail. A rattlesnake has, has these little dry rattles on the end of his tail and he shakes it and it goes, and 
he stepped right on there. The snake couldn't rattle and warn me because I was standing on his tail. So he didn't even worry about warning me. He just came striking up through the air, aiming his fangs right at my heart. That rattlesnake hit me. Bam! Right on my shirt pocket. That's where I was carrying my spare bubble gum. And the rattlesnake's fang stuck in the bubble gum. So the snake came up to bite him. He bit right on his pocket. And what's in his pocket? Yep. Bubble gum. That boy's going, yikes! Yeah, I do. I see that hole in his shoe, too. Yikes. Look at that. There I stood with my foot on the rattlesnake's tail with his fangs stuck in my shirt pocket. He was thrashing around and whipping up against me. I was so scared I couldn't even move. I just froze there, staring into his beady little eyes. What do you see in the snake's mouth? Yeah, sticky, sticky bubble gum. Those eyes were just looking hate back at me. The snake started working his jaw all around, trying to get his fangs out of the gum so that he could get back at me and really bite me good. So the snake's got this gum all stuck on him and he's trying to chew that bubble gum, but it's all sticky. And look at that boy. He says, oh, oh. But, of course, as the snake was working his jaw around, trying to get his fangs out of the bubble gum, the gum kept getting softer and softer. The next thing I knew, there was a little pink bubble coming up out of the snake's mouth. It got bigger and bigger till it was twice, maybe three times the size of a basketball. Look at the snake blue. <sighs> A giant bubblegum bubble. I got up all my courage. I brought my hand up slowly and pop. I broke the bubble. The snake went flying back and his head hit on a rock and it knocked him out cold. So he reached up, popped that bubble and that made the snake fly back. And the snake... Look at, there's a snake right there with a bubble gum on his mouth. He fell down, knocked his head, and got knocked out. That means he's, he's asleep for a little while. But that, but that did not change all, but that did take all of my courage. I fainted. Kind of fell asleep for a little bit. When you get too scared, sometimes you faint. That means you, you just kind of go to sleep for a little bit. I fell out in the other direction. I didn't come home for lunch and my mom came looking for me. She found me lying there on the ground and lying in the other direction was a rattlesnake with bubble gum all over his face. Look at, look at mom. How does she feel? Oh my gosh, what happened? She's scared. She's worried. She found her son. She doesn't know what happened. My mom asked me what happened, and I told her the same story I just told you. You know what? She didn't believe it. Did you? Do you, Do you think that that's a true story? Do you think a, a rattlesnake can blow a bubble like that? I don't think so. But it was a funny story. I can blow a bubble like that. But it was a fun story anyway. Maybe we should do the sticky bubble gum song. That would be fun.